Hey, it's Matt again. Same day. Um, I was going to go ahead and do another fun with spam video, um, but before I loaded the antivirus, um, and the antivirus I'm going to be working with next is Bitdefender, um, just because I've heard so many great things about it and I've barely ever used it. Um, but before I do that, I thought I would go ahead and load up, you know, like two weeks of, of uh, spam and uh, just click on all the links and see what happens to this PC. Now, I have not pre-tested this. I don't know if anything will happen at all. It, this PC has some updates. It doesn't have every Windows update, um, this virtual machine. Um, so we'll find out what happens, if anything. And we'll run it through like a bootable scanner like the Kaspersky Rescue Disk or something like that. So, anyway, let's get started here. Um, poor Rick, he's been emailing me for now years. Uh, his name is Rick, and he is always offering his photo retouching services. Um, I've just never replied to the guy. Sorry, Rick. Next one, I'm on the Chinese, I don't know, Chinese what is that Korean shit list I have no idea it's some infected XLS file but I don't have an Excel viewer on here um, so on a side note <laughs> I don't have an Excel viewer on here but I could get one really quick and we can see what happens let's do that let's see Excel viewer download the Excel viewer now, this Excel viewer is fully patched up and stuff, so still probably nothing, but, you know, just for the hell of it, let's do it. So that should come down pretty quick. <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of people will have um, outdated office. I mean, a lot of the houses I go to, office is always outdated. Um, so these types of things work very well when they come to you in your language. Um, but I'm, I have no idea what kind of language it is. I'm assuming it's it must be Chinese or Korean. I don't know. Who cares? Anyway, um, let's see. Um, got something weird there. Uh, it looks like some kind of like legit spam sort of. More Korean <laughs> or Chinese or whatever the hell it is. Uh, Bank of America. Um, again, these are, you know, this is an infected Word doc. Um, you know what? I tell you what, I'm going to load an old version of what I normally see when I'm out. Just for the heck of it. I have to make a note to have Office loaded on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pause the video. Okay, um, so that was quick. Um, basically what we have loaded now is typically what I see a lot when I go out. Uh, a lot of people still have Office 2003, oddly enough. Sometimes I see 2000. I see a lot of 2007s now. Um, so we loaded just a basic version of 2003 on this uh, PC. And now let's go back to uh, some of our spam here. Um, let's open this guy up. Man, you know, no clue what the hell that is. Don't know if something got loaded in the background or not. So, um, let's see. Let's go down to the next one. And same kind of thing. So, just weirdness. Alright, let's go down to our Bank of America merchant statement. So it's as attached as your document, you know, all this other crap, and like it's just a wall of text. Um, so you're not going to read that. You're going to go right to your attachment. See if uh, something loads. And it says down here at the bottom, Word is converting this BOA statement. And uh, error could not be rendered in your version of Office. Okay. Moving on, again more of this stuff. It could be a legitimate sales thing. I have no idea. I just I don't read that. <laughs> uh, work at home. 
Kim Swartz is uh, actually a normal mother. Uh, quit her job in 2012, and you know she's killing it. She just needs to uh, send out tons of spam. So we'll click that link. We'll bite. And it goes nowhere. And that's from yesterday. Uh, the financial crisis. Save my money. Well, thank God I have a Gucci watch in this financial crisis. Brings us to a fake watch site. Let's see. She doesn't have any links there. Rick's sending out his photo editing techniques again, or his services. Uh, same thing for this. This is the same. Uh, more watch spam. I need to get some more spam here. I think these it could be a great set of videos. It's just this that I need to get some some good stuff. And okay, so we're being redirected to some uh, you know fake how to make a gazillion dollars a month site. Sign up for this product when we'll rebill you a million times and. Uh, you know, hey, change your life, all this other stuff. Awful. Awful scams. <sighs> and meanwhile they could be, you know, they could have all kinds of stuff on their sites. You know, all kinds of uh, all kinds of malware. Um let's see what this says. Sure I'm gonna run this in porn soon. Yeah, same watch site. All right, let's move down the list. I've already opened a few of those, so I don't need to do any more of those. Ah, uniform traffic ticket. Hey, yo. Well, I better see what kind of ticket I got. Well, I need to see that file. I don't care if Windows is blocking it. Oh, never mind. This is to help. Uh, okay, Windows found that this file can is a potentially harmful file. Windows has blocked access to this file. So yeah, keep in mind I have no protection on here at, at all. Just a few Windows updates. So uh, apparently, uh, some kind of Windows component it must be Windows Defender or something. I probably forgot to disable that. Uh, same thing. This will probably be blocked. If it was from like today or something, it'd probably come right through. So yeah, really not much. Anything good? Nah. Let's see if we can grab some other stuff. Hang on a sec. And I'm going to try to open this um, zip file I just received about my uniform traffic ticket. I don't know if it'll open now. Um, yeah, it looks like it. I, so I have no idea what it was. Um, what we can do, might be kind of fun, is if you take out this infected file, and that's all it is, it's just a virus which I just installed on my computer. It says my ticket. Um, if you actually want to know what it is or get some kind of idea, you can just upload to virus total. So if you do a Google search and you search for virus Vetus, virus total. Go ahead and click that link right there. We can choose a file. If we think a file is uh, suspicious, and we'll go ahead and hit scan it. We'll just uh, let it upload. So detection ratio, almost everything out there has um, has caught it. We'll view the last analysis since it's already been uploaded. Um, and let's see, it's a detected is so many different things here. ZDBot, I guess that's the general consensus 
And that's what I see a lot of. Yeah. Zbot. Zbot. Yeah, it's all over the place is Zbot. So, yeah, I see that a lot. Anyway, that uh now that this PC is uh pretty much infected, I'm going to let it uh I'm going to let the infection kind of take its course. Usually it takes a few minutes. I start, I would say after 10, 15 minutes I'll start seeing things pop up. So, yeah, I mean you do really have to watch spam. I mean, if you if you do get spam coming to your inbox, you got to be wary of it. You never know what they're sending you. It's it's not only just you know sales bullshit sales pitches. It's it's actual malware. So um, anyway, I'll let that uh, run for a few minutes, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, well I waited like a half hour. Maybe an hour, I don't remember. I was working on someone else's computer, but um so I came back and I just did a search um in Google and what we see if I search for buy shoes, I now have price peep, whatever the hell that is, loaded. Um I'll show you how that works if I just click search. It doesn't come up every time, but like let's say if yeah, if I mouse over something it'll come up. So if I want to buy, let's see, if I want to buy a coat. So let's get rid of that, and we mouse over Amazon. Uh, yep, but sure enough, there's that damn price peep thing. Um, so I didn't load that. I just left the computer alone for an hour, and um, these things got loaded automatically. I don't know what they are. So what we're going to do now is something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at a program that I always hear good things about. Um, it's not going to be Bitdefender right now, but I'm going to go ahead and do um, Trend Micro's House Call. It's like an online second opinion antivirus, anti malware scanner. So let's see if we can get there. Trend Micro House Call. Price Peep is trying to hook us up. And I'm sure that this thing isn't even detected by anything. You probably have to uninstall it. It's like one of these little adware add-ons. So um going to yeah, housecall.trendmicro.com. It says think your PC is infected. House call can quickly identify and fix a wide range of threats, including viruses, worms, trojan spyware. Includes uh includes a full custom scan options. Uh, support for 64-bit, Windows 7, Windows 8, and they also support uh, OS X. So let's go ahead and download. I think I'm on a 32-bit version of Windows on this PC. Yeah. So, I mean, the PC is functional, it works, but I mean, I know it's infected. I know I downloaded Zbot, and um, who knows what else downloaded in the last hour. I'm sure there'd be a lot more if I left it on all night long. I'm a little, pa little too paranoid to do that, so. Um, so, yeah, House Call downloads really, really fast. I don't know what size it was, but. It's uh, coming down pretty good clip here. So anyway, um, I'm not really sure how it works. I've never used it. Yeah, something weird on my desktop. I was using Procmon to see if Zbot had some outgoing connections, and it did. So, I was just making sure it was working. Uh, we'll go ahead and accept their agreement. And we're going to go ahead and do a scan now. I want to look at some of the settings. Uh, it says it recommends us to do a quick, a quick scan. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And while that's scanning, I uh, will pause this. Huh, well, that one says no threats found. Even though you clearly saw me double click on. Uh, uh, a Z-Bot Trojan earlier. 
Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and do a scan, but this time we'll do a full scan. So, settings, full system scan, and we'll hit scan now. And regardless of what happens after this, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, and then um, if it's not finished, um, I'll just move on to part two of it tomorrow. So, Okay, well, this is going to take a really long time, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it for tonight. Um, so this will be part one. And then uh, I'll be back tomorrow night with, uh, we'll finish up this, we'll probably scan with another app, and... You know, we may not have gotten infected or, you know, I had some Windows update that prevented it from uh, infecting us. So, yeah, you never know. It's hit and miss with this stuff. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'll come back with uh, part two tomorrow. And then I'm working on, um, like I said, I've got about 11 more videos uh, that I'm working on. Um, so, I'll talk to you guys soon.